So yes, finally, finally, finally! Though of course we're back with another pretty quick talking about video. Though of course we got the new, of course, easy eggs for the great apes and stuff like that. They're all locked in the game. The gold room, taco room. Again, this is only for global right now. Sadly, JP does not have it at the time of recording. But of course, we're gonna go over for global. We guess global win. No more JP chat forever. So yeah, um, of course we got a new Clapico campaign, which came out around 10 a.m. for me this morning at the time, my local time. So whatever clock is down here, whatever time it is for me right now is literally 5 p.m. Yeah, that's my time. That's about that, of course. Um, but yeah, though, um, we have a new Clyde Vicker, of course, campaign. Um, I kind of just was in the game. I was like, okay, it's cool. It's just going over like the, it's just literally the easy A's and um, a little stuff. It's like a couple day campaign and stuff like that, of course. All stuff is lasting up to the twentieth. So that's the great easy A's. They are per permanent on global, no matter what though. So that because he is pretty good. Some other grabs get the easy A's. It seems like the grab probably be maybe in this big one. I'll probably make them all separate, like the Bada crew, probably like um. Turtles again, or they could just like you know later easy as will probably join in this one though. They could do it for easy areas like the boom one like last year for the 350 million. And this is just a, like a mini little clap campaign. And of course, supposed to stick up for the Cow King Goku. Um, if you want to just get it for free, I'm supposed to go mine anyway though. I'm um, actually meant to make like a whole like sticker video. Um, because I want to start doing a, like a series for the for the channel for Doki just playing on stickers and reacting over it and stuff like that for characters. I have a couple on there I'm still you know preparing and stuff like that of course for that. Um, I might put some one video just kind of you know get my full reaction and stuff like that because some of them are actually pretty good again this is like a typical jp thing for jp for what we'll have them have come though of course like i said we got the super same four figures um for the four year we got you know five year again those are like anniversary stuff we get those every pretty much every year um they're all pretty good though again like i said all pretty good all just good in general and stuff like that but yeah um um, yeah, I'm really excited though. Again, he has a this Kaioken Blue Goku specifically from the Universal Survival Saga. Of course, doing the Kaioken times 20 against Jiren and stuff like that. This is like his whole, you know, big deal and stuff like that. Yeah, he does have a Doka Fest. Of course, he will. I think he's still on the Gohan banner though. So it's like, hey, you're lucky enough, you got some coins, pull them, and get that sticker. <laughs> That's the only way it is right now. I was like, oh, pull it, get that special sticker. Sticker effect actually is pretty good though, of course. But yeah, like I said though, um, like JP does it all the time. They always have like 10 tons upon a uh, fundo of, you know, you know, um, tickets and like, you know, um, you know, the only prize is like BMGs, you know, statues. Again, they do that every year for the anniversary. I do make a video on it. It is only JP though, because Global never did it during five years. They didn't do it. I really want to say that more happened there. Again, you, again, you had to have like, for JP specifically, you had to have like a JP address though. You can't just be like, or, you know, if you win one of them magically, you could just ship it to your friend or whatever who really wants it. Like, if you don't like Dragon Ball, you know, so into a contest here in Japan, again, and just only in Japan though. But for this one specifically, you know, it's Global and stuff like that. They always have the collab figures. I know I saw the, um, couple ones from last year, like the Ant UI Goku, the Tech Service, and 4 Kojita. They have those like everywhere in my local, um, Barnes and Noble bookstore, um, for me. Um, a little like plaza area where I live. Um, so they have like a whole like, you know, a little shopping center, you know, has like Ross, you know, um, um, home goods for me, you know, that's Jason Deli, like a whole like little area, like Chili's, like literally the whole little area for me, um, where I live specifically. Um, they have like that um, whole like little shopping area. It was like a whole big shopping area and it has like all that stuff though. So for me, I, I'm, at, I'm at a local bookstore, Barnes and Noble, which everybody should maybe have one if you haven't heard of it, it's always somewhere. Um, that's where I get like see all the figures and stuff like that. They're, they are expensive. No lies, they're like forty, fifty dollars. Um, they're not bad though, but it's like they're really expensive. They can get crazy. So of course, right here is of course a great UCA again. Um, pretty. What's that? That was something left there, probably. Um, of course, we have the great UCA's and stuff like that. Of course, are all live in the game. Let's scroll down, go over everything. Of course, for you guys to see and everything. But yeah, pretty um simple, pretty easy stuff. Of course, like I said, to go over um again, very typical easy A stuff again, stage one through um thirty. Um again, not a lot of people. I know the biggest complaint for easy A, it's not like the LR ones, not thirty. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I kind of get that though, of course, you know, because it's simple and easy to go through. Box for the three hundred fifty million was actually pretty easy. I don't know, I don't know my opinion. Just because, you know, um, I mean, near the end, it kind of got difficult a little bit. He hit a lot harder, which I, that's the kind of difficulty I like. You know, it kind of rises up a little bit as you go on. Like, it's pretty easy. Then later on, it kind of gets a little bit hard. But he didn't, like, one-shot me or whatever. Like, I wasn't pissed off to the point. It's like, I wanted to quit or whatever. But um, it's actually, um, again, like I said, pretty, pretty um, easy to go through. I kind of like that format. Because Goku and Freezes were actually pretty solid. Broly's was a little bit difficult. But again, you gotta have like a lot of good units on there. I'm not saying full LR because out legendary power again they choose like you want legendary power to do more attack or you want to go more defense. I think on global the first time I think it was switch like defense um the category whatever category was good um you know it was good but then you had um, legendary power as well though so again for all we know it could have shattering the limit that would have been a global chef back then like literally shattering the limit there you go I mean some events have done that where you had need like shattering the limit or like a link 
I remember back in the day it was called Rebirth. Because um before first battle before that was leaked and stuff like that. And over in the flash it was called like uh, Ready for War. I mean over in the Flash, I mean Prepare for Battle was called Ready for War. I think actually still is called that in Japan, Ready for War. I love that name. Uh, I remember in the game called Alex today, he was like, Ready for War <laughs> or Warden, first warden. Those are those are like the OGs, man. I love those guys, it's pretty cool. So of course for easy emails for all of them, it does take 15 bronze, 40 silver, 30 gold, 30 rainbow, typical stuff, of course. Uh, we both have for STR, of course, um, AGO, STR, physical orbs. We have 1,720 for small, 1,200, 1,320, of course, medium, 120 large. I think it probably sums up to, I think, around, um, uh, let me get the math right. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, about like, what, 1,000, probably like 2,000, you know, Probably actually, I can just do the math. Okay, yeah, I don't have to control that. Whatever, I'm not gonna try. I can try math on video. It's gonna go really badly. But of course, then after that, we have of course for for um the four cards we're typing for HL STR and of course physical. Then we get thirty stones. Pretty simple, pretty easy for the easy as well. But yeah, and then of course the weakness right here is great power. Again, a very very simple easy category to kind of structure and go over though. Of course. But yeah, again, really simple, really easy. Again, you can make a mixed match, mixed match team. Again, you can just do great apes. So it'll probably be really good here. A lot of people are like, oh, the easy apes can be probably like super hard or whatever. But I feel like they'll probably, they'll probably lighten up a little bit just because easy apes. Because I feel like they know the grips are really bad. So um, again, the transmission conditions are usually all the same. It's just that, again, they always keep those for easy apes no matter what. We're going to see it with the you know, category easy apes, like with Amp Pro, say, probably maybe next year, the year after. And yeah, they're really, they're really skipping, like, I know, like, STR Rose and Tech Vegeta Blue. They should have been got the easy eights. I feel like they're going to say that for a future, another future celebration. Future saga for Dragon Ball Super Trunks. <clears throat> I honestly feel like they're, um, <clears throat> ooh, my mouth um, I honestly feel like they're going to honestly save it for that, though. Because they're waiting so long, they should have been released. Even the tech, um, made from Vegeta for Int as well. Yeah, but this category is actually pretty easy to go over, though. Um, I feel like it'll probably be easier than you think, though. So, of course. Then, of course, we got the Great Ape Summons. I did one over in the beginning of the video. It's not worth summoning. It's just really trash or whatever, though. So, yeah. Tell me to go over the easy units. Of course, though. I'm going to go ahead and get into them. Get my full reaction and thoughts and stuff like that. Of course, though. Ugh. But, yeah. Um, of course, for Goku, I'll go over. I haven't seen him at all yet or whatever. The latest goes. So, Goku does, again, I think he does destructive destructive damage. I think a medium chance of stunning when he goes Great Ape. Again, I haven't read like, all the full Great Ape info, so I probably don't really need to because anyway, that's like a, maybe, it only lasts really more of like a turn or whatever, though. So, you don't really need to go crazy or whatever. So, he does all types of key three, everything at 70%. If you, have a, if you do not have a good leader scope, he's going to be probably pretty good as well. Um, first of attack, red attack, defense, premium damage, and to enemy. Oh, infinitely attack, attack, and defense. That is good. That's starting out pretty good. So of course, like, the categories don't change though, and I think the Great Ape had the chance to be two this time around. They I know definitely they changed that, of course. But yeah, passive though, of course, attack defense plus eighty percent plus another attack and defense plus eighty percent. We're doing another super. We're doing a super attack. We intend to perform another super attack when HP is eighty percent or um less. And of course, transforms to the Great Ape when conditions are met. Is uh, has a chance, high chance to do it, turning into the Great Ape for two turns. I think um so I think some of the skills added like another two turns technically. Okay. Um, really good though. Again, they made him really good. Again, he basically just gets his attack um, 80% a lot, just like three, almost three times. I'm about to say maybe go full additional if you want to go crit. Maybe that help you out a little bit, but it doesn't really matter though. It doesn't really matter honestly because it doesn't again really matter. But definitely a really good upgrade for this guy. Again, infinitely second attack and defense, and he's gonna be um. Yeah, definitely go for additional for that actually because if you want to stack that attack and defense up a lot, it's gonna be really good. Again, when it goes great ape, it's gonna hurt him a lot. But I think in, in the OG legendary Goku event, if we're going for like great ape category or whatever, if you just want to get like done or whatever, um, I think he's gonna be pretty good. Again, he's a physical unit. He's gonna have probably maybe not hit as hard though, but he's gonna probably rack up that damage and his defense though. So yeah, he's gonna be, he's probably gonna be really really good though. Of course, on to right, I think more of a helper for easy A's, um, even easy area. But I think Goku has that more you know mental now, but he actually has four key though. So Raz does um all types. 4 key everything up, of course, 50%. Pretty solid stuff there um, for his um, super attack. Uh, great raise attack and defense for one turn causes supreme damage to enemy. Solid as well. Um, attack defense plus 80%, plus another attack defense um, plus 15%. Um, for every key, key sphere attains, plus additional attack plus 80% when performing a super attack if HP is 80% or less, turns to a great when conditions are met. So, um, and of course, sending Goku. Yeah, he's pretty much kind of like Goku, but take away the attack plus 80% twice. So, so yeah, pretty much kind of like Goku there. Really, really good though, honestly. Again, these, I mean, they might not be like, eh, whatever on paper, but pretty solid though. Again, like I said, really, again, it might not be like a massive upgrade, but they're pretty good. Like, again, raising attack and defense and getting them more attack and defense, like, pretty, basically three times, and their leader scope pretty much kind of helping them out as well. Unless you have a better one. Pretty good. Again, like, for easy, some of the easy A's are going to be pretty good. Again, they didn't, they had to do a lot for these easy A's. They didn't have to, like, go all out though, but 
I thought they went pretty decent though. Again, they're not the most broken units that are really not meant to be, but they're pretty good. Again, like longer events and other events. Um, but they'll probably come in clutch though, because again, like Super Battle Royale, it might come in clutch. This rise will probably be good for that. I'm um, saying Saga EZA for. Um, I know Grand Nap with the end one probably he's doing. He's probably, he's probably gonna be way better because he was a free play unit and he sucks. Like his great like his EZA just straight up like sucks and stuff like that though. But otherwise though, um Raditz and Goku seem pretty good. Um, I'm actually satisfied with them. They're actually both pretty good. On to Vegeta, of course, gotta say the best for last. This guy being a Doka Fest, definitely in the future is gonna be definitely. So yeah, again, this guy's gonna be a Doka Fest. Again, again, probably end of the year, probably next year for anniversary. I don't know, because again, like I said, every year the team definitely is looking Goku or Vegeta and Gogeta. I think next year, like, like another Goku, Gogeta and Vegeta, unless they break the trend to go this Kao King Goku and uh, do the time for coming hot or Spirit Bomb or whatever. With active skill in this video, of course, going great. Or the part 2 LR will probably be a Krillin and Gohan doing the Spirit Bomb, or just Krillin doing the Spirit Bomb. It's probably honestly good though. And it's the side banner unit being that, but for Kao King Goku, I don't know, TN, there you go. I'm joking though. And of course, everybody really wants the free to play, of course, um, Z Fires that um, go into LR, like the Team Bardock one. Just throwing out ideas though. You know, Bandai, if you're watching, you guys got spots out there. You got know you do. We got them spots, like spots in the sky. Yeah, like the Matrix. Been like. <sighs> been like just do it was, like, dodging all Doken ideas. Great BZA. <sighs> Kao King Goku and um, Great Maji Easy. Um, Doken Fest. <sighs> Just throwing at least just doing that super step. Of course, VG does all types of Q3, everything up 70%. I think kinda like Goku, I think that's Goku's zero skill. Um it raises attack defense up for one turn called Supreme Damage to Enemy. His passive deals attack defense plus 80%, plus another attack defense plus 80%. Um when it attack defense plus 80% plus uh, um when doing a super attack, plus additional attack plus 80% with HP is 80% or less strength or greater. Okay, it seems like they're all just similar though, I think. I think they're pretty much all the same unit though. I think Rad's a little bit different because he has the key spheres, but him and Goku are pretty much just similar though. Um yeah, probably just only do a full additional and stuff like that for all these guys. I want to say really probably go full additional because you can maximize the rest and attack and defense up, not just for one turn. But this Vegeta, he literally has Goku's passive, Raditz is passive, like Goku's passive, Rad's passive, and then Goku's leader skill. I think. Yeah, literally just Goku, I think. It literally is just Goku, pretty much, though. But he has rats to, like, the leader skill thing. Again, they're all really good, though. Again, nothing like, oh my gosh, game breakingly broken, but they can actually be pretty good. And probably in some events, like, through a battle road, or even, like, maybe Battlefield or whatever. But, um, again, because there's, they, I guess they want you to stack up and save up, though, for this. For Goku's gonna be really easy, though, because, again, the bolt attack is 8%. You're only gonna get it once, though, when your HP drops below 80%, though. You might not see it as much, though, because you might get hit a lot, but unless you want to face a battle early or do whatever otherwise. Yeah, I mean, they're all pretty much the same, though, so I'm pretty much gonna go ahead and end the video there. Again, pretty good for all the great EGAs. I'm kind of glad they got EGAs. They needed it for a long time. So glad, so grateful, and stuff like that, though. So, yeah. See you guys later, though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Have a good day. Make sure you stay safe. Watch your hands. God bless all of you. If you're going out, playing one night, so we'll make it a little bit. So, what do you think about all this info, though? Of course, you like it, you hate it. Again, they're all really simple, all really easy to go over. Again, they're pretty much all the same unit. I think we're actually just key tiers, but they're all really good. Again, I have a real, I have, I want to see some, I'm going to probably see some link level 10 videos. Again, their links are going to be, um, Goku has a lot of links and a lot of categories, so it's great at Vegeta and, of course, Rad. So that's going to help me out a lot more. Categories, somewhat links, again, passive and there's all that stuff is going to be pretty much all the same with them. And, of course, like I said, links for Goku is going to be really good. Again, categories is going to be really good for him and his teams. Same goes for Rad and, of course, you know, Vegeta and stuff like that. Great apes are starting to become good. Video title? Yeah, our grade is actually good now. I think I think the Bardock Squad probably needs to win the next, probably the most. And when we, put, when we go back to Bardock Celebration, we'll probably get like the free to play Bardock Squad, the Grand EZA. Then, of course, you know, I mean, this is, you know, a collab thing they kind of just did for fun. But in the future, again, the Team Bardock EZA for the Great Apes and regular Team Bardock and probably the LR1. I'm um, free to play one. Again, they're probably like, like easy areas. But, um, yeah, like Freezer Day as well in Goku. So, you might go ahead and use the free to play Bardock Squad regardless, though. So, but, one properly. So yeah, see you guys later though, you know? It's out.